Hi, my name is Keith and I'm known as the Florida Stone Man and today I'm going to be talking to you all about what happens when evil or bad people try to wear crystals. Because there, I have thought about this before, but it's a complex answer because it's very, it's very interesting, isn't it? Ooh, you only can use crystals for good. But what happens when someone tries to armor themselves, someone of darkness or really bad people try to armor themselves with things that are supposed to raise your vibration and protect you and just really help you. What happens when an evil, nasty, sinister, disgusting soul of a person who is just out here really hurting other people and just really doing dark things when they get a crystal? Essentially, it doesn't work at all. So if you're someone who sets out and you want to do hexes, curses, all these this just nasty stuff to other people just because you're an envious and spiteful person, your crystals will not have an effect, but they will have an effect. But how? So when it comes, let me talk about what crystals really do. They impact us to impact change on our environment. For example, if rose quartz attracts love, is that rose quartz? It, is, is the, I don't know, where's my rose quartz? It's somewhere around here. It's probably in my pillow or something like that. But uh, if this, okay, here it is. Here's one piece of rose quartz. If rose quartz attracts love, is it the stone is literally is so let's say you have someone and you're interested in them is the rose quartz attracting them to the stone have you ever thought about that like huh what's how is this crystal attracting love like is, is this person like coming near the stone and like like a magnet like ooh, finally my face is against the stone no it's not, it doesn't work like that the rose quartz makes us magnetic rose quartz doesn't directly attract love it literally changes our heart center it changes our heart chakra it changes what we have on the inside to really become vibrant and to shine and for our vibration to go through the roof and it helps make us feel whole because we go through a society and in society people do some damage to our heart chakras people really hurt us people uh, just close our hearts and rose quartz opens our hearts back up so when we wear it are we is that rose quartz attracting love or it's, is it helping you feel so good about yourself that people don't even people are literally following you around people are blowing up your phone people are literally thinking about you every second of the waking day because you're so vibrant like you have that energy about you that no one else really has and like they they can't figure it out they've never they've never come across someone like this in their entire lives and they're just so happy to be around you. They think about you all the time. Is it because the rose quartz is doing magic? No, it's because you're a bright and shining person. You're shining in a, in a basically, if you're in a room full of just very dim lights or even dark, no lights at all, you're shining, you're glowing. You're just like, boom, like just radiant. And that rose quartz really in, impacts and affects you to make you have this outcome and then you see all this love come towards you just because the rose quartz doesn't attract love if i were to tell you rose quartz attracts love it's not telling you that accurately rose quartz attracts love because it makes you magnetic it makes you completely magnetic you're just like oh i feel good and people are like i want to feel that good i want to be around him or i want to be around her and they come up to you they're like oh there's, there's this energy about you because you aligned your heart chakra and not many people have aligned their heart chakras and you feel good and you're popping that person's on that energy stream of yours and when they're when you're not around them they're like oh something's missing oh it's them who's missing when when it's really you have a certain energy about yourself that is aligned to attract that kind of blessing of love so yeah i just went off about rose quartz because rose quartz is awesome i'm always going to recommend rose quartz as a stone for self-love because or love because or people when, look, when they're looking for love they're normally looking for love because they're lonely, but rose quartz, you're like, wait, I don't, I don't need love. I got myself. I'm feeling great. I'm by myself. I'm just doing well by myself, and I'm just doing awesome. And people are like, oh, you're so radiant. Like, and people will want to hang out with you. Like, people will blow up your phone. You're like, at this point, like, you're like I don't think I really want love. I want to be alone now. I like myself more when I'm alone. And you'll notice, like, you'll have to push people off of you. But it's one thing rose quartz does when you work with it correctly. <sighs> Rose quartz is awesome. That's why I put it over my heart chakra because it makes me feel so pure. When people put it over their hearts as a necklace, it's like they're like, ooh, I feel a special kind of good. And it really does make you feel that good. But what happens when a rotten person wears rose quartz? Does it attract love to them? It, in essence, no. I thought you just said, listen, when that person's a rotten person, is that rose quartz going to be pulling more people towards them? No. What happens when a, when that person's wearing rose quartz and they're expecting to attract love? 
you know, occasionally they you might see some uh, them people flocking up to them, but for the wrong reasons and not because of the rose quartz. So the rose quartz will help that person align. It's it's only going to be working on them, and it's going to be working in overtime. So when crystals are working on when a bad person has a crystal, or a rotten person, a really bad evil person, a bad evil soul, just whoever it is, when they have a crystal, essentially their crystals are going to be working in overtime. Their crystals are going to be almost overwhelmed because think about it like this. <laughs> so <laughs> that bad person, that really rotten person wouldn't be rotten if they had good energy in their lives. That crystal is just pure good energy and light. So what happens when a person with with who is just in the pure darkness has something of light? They're going to try to exhaust the energy of the rose quartz. They're going to try to take its its energy because the bad people are essentially are just vampires. So they're going to suck all the energy out of the crystal. They'll notice that that crystal gets, uh, it actually loses its charge. It gets less cleansed. I mean, it needs more cleansing and more charging because it's doing so much on that person and it's basically evaporating their energies. I mean, it's they're evaporating the, the rose quartz's energies and it's not helping them as much because it gets exhausted much sooner and it's not doing as much because they're going to need a lot of rose quartz to dissolve some really nasty heart chakra blockages if they're a nasty person imposing the blockages. I mean, if they're imposing their blockages on others and being nasty to people, closing up their heart chakras, they've essentially, because I've seen it, I've seen people uh, just even way back then when I used to go out to bars and clubs, I would see people chugging down uh, shots, like shots after shots after shots, and they're they're wearing bracelets of amethyst, and you're like, well, I thought the rose, I mean, I thought the amethyst was to help people stop drinking. Yeah, their energy's fully over overrode. It overrided the amethyst to the point where it's just nullified it. It just now the amethyst, it needs heavy cleansing, heavy, heavy charging. It's doing so much that it almost, I hope this makes sense to you guys. The crystal is doing so much to try to align them and their energy is canceling it out so heavily that it, the crystal just essentially doesn't do anything to them or for them. So the crystal, uh, people who are really rotten, people will notice they're, they're totally just kind of chips, chips off and shapes all the time. It's because they're, they're, they're totally in, in heavy overdrive and one thing you might notice as well, if people have the most, and a lot of bad people who use crystals will have some of the most dramatic reactions to crystals, like they'll be throwing up, they'll just be head, I mean, just just be just like completely out of it because the crystal's working so, so difficult. It's so difficult for the crystal to work on that person that the crystal's being exhausted. So most likely that person will lose the crystal, it'll break, a dark entity around them will get it away, etc. Like it won't be overly effective because it's trying to work on them. So if that person gets citrine, instead of her working to bring that person new opportunities and wealth and all these different blessings that citrine has to offer, help that person's manifestations, that crystal is now working on helping that person purify their energy field and it's working to help make the person happier because if that person is do doing bad things, they're obviously not happy on the inside. They might show it on the outside, but that citrine's exhausted. It's not going to bring them any wealth, any manifestations, any new opportunities because that person's energy is canceling it out. Now, uh, that, these are some good examples. Wow, I thought this video was going to be a little more challenging to do, but wow, these are some really good examples. Uh, yeah, so basically, do crystals work for bad people? Yes and no. The crystals don't work at all because they get canceled out with the bad person's energy so quickly that it doesn't even matter. And that crystal won't really do anything at all for the person. That crystal will just be exhausted. It'll be like, Ugh. The crystal will be asleep. That's the best way to describe it. The crystal will be flat out sleeping because it's, it's doing too much. No! what happens if this person cleanses and charges the crystal and they do it very often it still doesn't matter because the second they hold it they can you can exhaust a crystal you can you can fully exhaust a crystal in seconds in seconds what happens when someone touches your crystal bracelet or touches your crystal necklace or touches your crystal in your that you just showed them in your pocket it falls down it cracks it breaks the necklace breaks uh not for me at least but uh, the bracelet breaks. Well, bracelets are stretchy, so like, what the? It just broke. Yeah, because their energy overwhelmed it in a matter of seconds. Uh, I've known. I know someone who 
he was out of rehab. I hope he watches this, my videos one day, but he was out of, he went back to rehab after, but uh, he was out of rehab. I gave him amethyst. It was really working for him. Like for a week, he's like, I don't have that. I just, I feel my soul is just the blackness, the void, just the emptiness, the howl, hollowness of my soul is filled. It, I don't feel like I'm, I have a hole in me anymore. He's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a hole is filled. It's like, I've never felt anything like this. And then he let someone in his rehab touch it. It sapped the energy of it within seconds. And it became useless. It didn't really help him. It, it, to become useful again, you have to palo santo it, sage it, uh, rosemary it, cinnamon it, setter it. Let it charge for about six to eight hours. But you, that person is not going to wait six to eight hours because that the, per, the energy on that person. So even when a bad person touches your crystals, it will zap. Zzz, the crystal like zzz. Energy transfers from a higher gradient to a lower gradient. They they can completely zap the crystal, thus making the crystal completely useless to the bad person. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about this. What happens when a bad person has crystals and they're trying to do bad with the crystals? Doesn't work like that. So the crystals, they only work for light. They only work because these crystals come from heaven. They are literally heavenly crystals. When you try to use a crystal for bad, it comes back to you in the harshest ways. Doesn't matter what crystal. I have seen people try to use onyx for bad, but even onyx, whoever tries to use it for bad, uh, people look up online, oh, I can do bad with onyx. No, the energies is completely redirected at the person trying to do bad with onyx. So sometimes people will gift, uh, just gift onyx and things will go bad. Sometimes people do it on purpose, but the energy to the person who gave it away on purpose, because it, it, they might have like put some bad energy in it or whatever. It, no, it goes straight back to the person who told them to get the onyx. or Because onyx, it's a memory chip. Onyx, the reason people have bad experiences with it is because if you're in a bad situation when you get it or the bad person who's bad who gave it to you, the energy's still on it because it's literally like a, a computer. It's a, it's a computer chip. <clears throat> onyx literally means claw, which it has residue. It has, it's like a fingernail. It holds residue under the onyx. So the worst I've ever seen someone try to do someone bad with a crystal is with onyx. But still, it comes back to the people who gave them it. And the people are always... One thing about people who do nasty, heinous, bad things like curses and hexes and just really dark acts... They never recognize it when their karma is hitting them. And those people are always having health problems, financial issues, fights with families, uh, just fights with friends. They're, nothing ever works out and they always think they're right. It doesn't. And that, the, those people constantly just go through the most crazy scenarios and they don't ever put two and two together that it's because of their spiritual decisions. You put out bad, even if you do good here and bad here, you're still doing bad here and it doesn't justify for the good over here. I've seen people try to be like, oh, I can do curses over here, but if I do something like, if I do a, like, if I do a blessing over here and a curse over here, it'll equal out, like, there's a balance. No, we live in the balance. Heaven, hell, the in-between, this is a test dimension. Humans get a certain amount of power just to see what we do with it. You fail that test, in the afterlife, you're going to be surprised where you end up. You're going to be shocked. Some people are like, oh, heaven's what you make of it. You're going to be shocked. And a lot of people, when they reach the afterlife, after they do bad, those people get angry. Because they're like, I'm back here again? There's no light? They haunt. They become bad spirits. If you ever wonder how bad spirits become bad spirits, they were bad people. They were bad people who thought they were, that what they were doing was balance, and they ended up as bad spirits when they thought their afterlife would be completely different. Until Judgment Day, they're either sent down there or destroyed. But be a good person. If you're a good person, and this is why I tell people, like, if you're a good person, and you wear a green adventuring, and you go to the casino, you're going to win. You're going to win. You get the intuition to go to the casino versus going on your own impulses, you're going to win. I have a list of people who have gone to the casino with green adventuring and won more than ten, twenty thousand, forty thousand, fifty thousand $40,000, in the casino with the green adventuring cuff that I made. Uh, some of you even... Uh, Comment in the comment section if you're one of the people who got the green adventure from me and have won. Uh, some of them are on TikTok, but regardless, be a good person. And the crystals, like, 
You've never seen anything like it. They put, they have a certain miracle aspect about them. And if you're a bad person, that's why they don't work out for you. They're, they're working, but they're working in overtime to the point where they become useless and they don't work for bad people. That's why people who are rotten and especially, I mean, let me talk about something like this. If you steal a crystal from someone, ooh, I should talk about this right now. Mm. If you steal a crystal from someone, the karma never goes away until you either return it and say you're sorry. That's about it. The karma never goes away. Crystals are spiritual objects. You have to return to the person and say you're sorry. There's no undoing karma. Karma is a lesson that these are spiritual objects. You pay a spiritual price. There's no exceptions. I, I try to think of an exception. No exceptions. If you're someone who did someone really wrong, then your karma just eats you until you become a better person and you recognize your own pattern and, don't, and no crystal ever works out for you. So that's another... I mean, some people... I mean, a lot of people who are really rotten, bad people, they'll try to call themselves good people, but they notice, like, nothing but health problems, financial issues, just crazy chaos, family fights, arguments, just disagreements just nothing working out for them and they think they're a good person and they think what they're doing is right obviously not you're a rotten person you're gonna get rotten things you start being good you start doing good you're gonna start seeing good if you have any questions ask them in the comments until then i'll see you guys next time ciao